Hello there. Um, today we're going to look at finding x and y intercepts from standard form. So if you're given standard form, which is this form right here, like uh, for example 4x minus 2y plus 8 equals 0, how could we figure out the x and the y intercepts? If we did know the x and the y intercepts of this thing, and it's actually a straight line, because there's no squares or cubes with that x over here, we know it's a straight line, then we could easily graph this thing too using x and y intercepts, okay? So first of all, remember an x-intercept, let's just draw a random line. An x-intercept is this spot right here where the line meets the x-axis, so it's called the x-intercept. Where this line comes and meets the y-axis, which is right here, the y-axis is going up and down, this is called the y-intercept, okay? So there's something important here. Um, for a y-intercept, I'm going to write y int because my writing is so messy. For a y-intercept, you'll notice that anywhere along this line, x is 0. Do you see that? So for a y-intercept, comma, x equals 0. And similarly, if you're looking at an x-intercept, um, if you're looking at an x-intercept, comma, anywhere along this line, did you notice that y is going to be equal to 0? Well, these are important points for you to know. So I'm going to uh, erase, or I'm going to move this little graph over. Oh, wow. It's not moving over completely. There. How's that? Good. Got to like these smart, this smart board software. It's really cool stuff. OK. Now. Let's start with finding the y-intercept here. There's just going to be one y-intercept because it's a straight line. So what I'm going to do is, uh, let's see, could I pick a color that, is this showing up? No, it's too dark. Um, I think red's too dark. That's purple is way too dark. I have to stick with yellow here. Okay. So we're going to write this again, but we're going to make x equals 0. So wherever we see x in this equation right here, we're going to make x 0. Okay, so let's, I'll write it out just to make it clear. 4, and then in brackets, 0 instead of x. Then write everything else just as you see it. Minus 2y plus 8 equals 0. Now, 4 times 0 is just 0. So we're left with negative 2y plus 8 equals 0. We want to get y all by itself to figure out the y-intercept. So if you remember correctly, what you're going to do is get rid of this 8 and bring it over to the other side. So we're going to subtract 8 from here, subtract 8 from here, do it. Do the same thing to both sides, okay? And remember, I have videos that come before these videos that show all about this stuff, so I'm going kind of quick here. Um, these two cancel. 0 minus 8 is negative 8, okay? Don't forget the equal sign. I like to keep it on top of each other just to make it clear. And we have negative 2y still left here, and we're almost done. The last step is we've got to figure out what is y all by itself. The only way to get y by itself is to divorce or divide. I use the word divorce just because it's a D word. Divorce or divide the negative 2 and the y. So I'm going to divide by negative 2. Whatever you do to one side, make sure you do to the other. When you divide, you actually divide everything by negative 2. Okay, just in case there was more things over here, but there's only this negative 8. So divide negative 8 divided by negative 2. This here becomes 1, which is invisible, so I'm just going to write the y equals negative divided by a negative is a positive number, if you remember. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Okay, we now know that the y-intercept is 4, so I'm going to write this over here. 1, 2, 3, 4. If I had to graph this, if I had a piece of graph paper, it'd be easier, but I just wrote my own little, this is called a sketch when you just do it like this. That is at 4, okay? Now let's find out where the x-intercept is. It's either going to be somewhere on this side or somewhere on this side. Let's figure it out using this right here, okay? For the x-intercept, y is equal to 0. So let's write out this equation once again, but this time instead of x being 0, let's make y be 0, okay? Let's write out. I'm going to put a line here so it's not confusing. For x 
minus 2, instead of y, I'm putting a 0, plus 8 equals 0. OK, so that's like saying 4x, negative 2 and 0 is just 0, right? So it's gone. This is plus 8 equals 0. Remember, you want the x all by itself, so let's bring the 8 over to the other side. What's the opposite of plus 8? Minus 8. Do the same thing to both sides. That cancels. We're really cleaning things up here, folks. 0 minus 8 is just negative 8. The last step is, is to d divide both sides by 4. Divide by 4. And 4 divided by 4 is 1, so you just get x really all by itself. That 1 is invisible, so you don't need to write it. Negative 8 divided by 4 is negative 2. We know that the x-intercept is negative 2, so let's go to our little sketch here. Negative 2. You could connect this with a ruler now. Um, I could connect it with a ruler, but I'm just going to do it with a line here. Oh my goodness, that is terrible. Um, I must let it go though, right? I shouldn't be so picky. Um, there's our line. It's going forever in this direction, which is a positive direction. If we were asked to find the slope, heck, we could find that. Now we could do a lot of things, but we're going to stop here because in this video, all I was asked to do is to show you how to find the x and the y-intercepts from standard form. I just happened to graph it as an extra bonus for you. Okay? The x-intercept was negative 2, the y-intercept was 4. If you wanted to be really clear, you could even write that to the teacher. Say, the y-intercept is 4, the x-intercept is negative 2. Okay, I'm going to go to the next question, and uh, let's just quickly do this one. I'm not even sure if you need this second question. You could push stop right now if you want to. But I'm going to find it just because I did prepare it for you. OK? So let's start with the y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, make x equal to 0. Let's do that. 0, because that's what's first. Minus 2y plus 4 equals 0. Negative 2y plus 4 equals 0. Notice the 0 was just gone there. I'm going to bring what over? Do I bring the negative 2y over or the 4? You're right. Bring the negative 4 over. Do the opposite of plus 4, minus 4. Do it to both sides. Negative 2y equals, what's 0 minus 4? Well, it's just negative 4. How do I split these two apart or divorce them? I divide. Good. I'm talking to myself. Great. OK, so y equals negative 4 divided by negative 2. Negative divided by negative is positive. 4 divided by 2 is 2. If you want to slow this video down, please feel free. OK, that is our y-intercept. We'll graph them at the end, OK? To find the x-intercept, make y equal to 0. Let's do that. So it would be x minus 2. Instead of y, we would put a 0, because that's what we're supposed to do here. y equals 0, plus 4 equals 0, and then x. Now this is just 0, right, when you multiply 2 times 0, or negative 2 times 0. So we're left with x plus 4 equals 0. This one's going to be quick. How do you get rid of the 4? Subtract 4 from both sides. So we're left with x equals negative 4. Quickly sketch, just for fun, just to show you that this is a quick way to find, or to graph something. If you're given a graph, or if you're given an equation in standard form and you quickly want to graph it, this is probably the easiest way to do it. It's one of the easiest ways. The other way is to switch it into or convert it into slope intercept form, which is a previous video. Anyway, so the y intercept was 2. 1, 2. Put your point there. The x intercept is negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And just like the other graph on the other page we did, this one is a positive slope as well. And we could do a lot of things right now, but this was all we were asked to do. So let's stop this video here before we go on too long. Don't you hate that when math teachers do that? Okay, have a great day, folks.